Hey guys, it's a Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this Rose Wheel Air Fryer. As you can see here, this is a pretty nice big air fryer that's designed to use in your kitchen. So this is a 1400 watt fryer and it has a capacity of 3.3 quart. I've been using this air fryer since a week before Christmas, so it's been roughly about three and a half weeks now of using this air fryer. It's a very simple air fryer to use. All you have to do is plug the unit in, um, select the temperature and let it pre-warm for about three minutes. And after that, you just have to put your foot in and then go ahead and start using it. So when you plug the unit in, you will hear a little beep and this light will come on as you can see right here. And then you just have to press it once, just like this. And then right here, you can adjust your timer and over here you can adjust your temperature so you can go all the way up to I believe 400 degree and here you can go at lows as 170 degree I believe there we go so it's 170 to 400 degree as far as the timer wise you can go between 0 to 30 minute maximum so that's pretty much the range if you want to do it manually you also have the menu button here which will let you set one of the seven different preset so here you can see fries you have here like pork chop meat kinda there's shrimp there is Kind of like cupcake and cake you have here like chicken you have beef and here you have fish so those are the different mode you see and as you're selecting the menu and picking one of the preset it's basically just setting the temperature preset and the timer preset for you During my air frying experience, I do notice that it's better that midway to your cooking, you take it out and flip it over so that you can get a nice crispy fry. The idea behind this is quite simple. Up top here, you have a little heater and it's kind of like a heat coil. And then there's a giant fan that basically push the heat down toward into the tray. And at the bottom here, it's just circulated out very well. And in the back, it just take it all the way out to the back here, as you can see. We love cooking pork chop and chicken in the house. So we did a lot of pork chop. I've been using it to make a variety of different kind of food. So I use it to make pork chop, beef, French fry and then tater tot and uh, a bunch of the other different kind of meat overall it works pretty well we even try to use this to do some of the egg roll that we have already pre roll in the fridge so in general if your product is a frozen product that you bought from the store most likely it's gonna be pre-cooked and it will has a little bit of grease in it so you do not have to add any grease at all but for example for the egg roll and the french fry that I make from scratch we did spray a very thin layer of oil on top just to make sure it's uh, get that nice golden crush but for most of the other stuff uh, for like pork chop and chicken and, and fish uh, those already have some of the fat in there so I didn't have to anything else i just marinate them and throw them in the fryer and use them the unit itself has a very small basket i want to show you that right now you can see here just pull this out and in this basket here it's actually dirty from the egg roll i made earlier but this is the basket as you can see so in my hand imagine my hand is a piece of pork chop you want to lay it flat so you can put like two pieces if you have smaller piece you can put three maybe lay a little bit on the side here but as you can see here the hot air come down and kind of just circulate and come out to the side here and go out to the back of the unit and it cooks pretty fast so for pork chop for example I have a you know about half an inch thick pork chop it takes roughly about 8, 20 minutes or so to cook it I would say to the nice golden crisp that I like and what I do is I would do it halfway and flip it over and do the other half uh, another way that I found is that making chicken wing with these works pretty well too. A lot of time when I make chicken wing over the grill, I usually have to boil it a little bit and then I grill so that it cook properly. But when yes, you can just put it in and actually cook quite good. And uh, yeah, if you add a little bit of seasoning and stuff, uh, definitely get a nice color out of it. So when just the little thing here, you can actually take it out by moving this here, press this button. And that will lift up this unit here. And you can see in the bottom, there is grease and stuff. And that's where it will collect everything. You can wash both these gently with a non-abrasive uh, pad. And it works pretty well. Uh, stuff will come out. Just make sure you add some hot water in here and, and kind of let's leave it there. Pre-soak for a little bit if you have this stuff for a long time. Uh, usually, I will leave it to cool down. And within an hour or so, I will wash it. I don't wait too long for it to get sticky and it's much harder to wash it. Another thing to notice, when you start cooking something and it's running, you can just pull the unit out, flip your stuff or just shake it up and you can push it right back in and when you push it back in, it will automatically resume. Uh, the other thing you need to pay attention is when you pick this unit up, you do not want to just lean it forward because if you lean it, um, the basket will actually come out. It actually doesn't have a good of a grip now. I mean, there's a little slide and you can hear it click in place, but if you have stuff in it, it will fall out. So when you pick it up, just make sure you hold it like this and have your hand here so that it just doesn't slip out. So in the back here, you have the air vent where the air will come out. Uh, in my experience, using this unit compared to deep frying or, or just frying in a pan, you will notice that because this doesn't use a much grease, uh, the unit does not 
produce a lot of smell. So if you're cooking something strong, uh, perhaps some of the smell will come out. But usually I point this as my air vent for my kitchen and uh, that just suck it out and it works pretty well. So for example, if I'm cooking pork chop, uh, you definitely can smell it in the area around your kitchen. And if you're cooking something like fish, you can definitely smell it a little bit more. But definitely this works pretty well for pushing all the air out here and then your kitchen range or air vent will take care of the rest. Uh, so overall, it's a pretty cool, simple product. It works pretty well in my experience. So far, we've been very happy using this to make our french fry and pork chop. Uh, for those who have problems with french fry and not getting it crispy, you want to make sure that you cut your uh, potato out and then you soak it in water for a while to, to get all that starch out and that's what gives it the crunchiness and then you can season it and then go ahead and you know put a very thin layer of um, maybe spray oil on it and then you're good to go. In general, if you cook the meat, you do not need to use any oil at all. Uh, it works pretty well. I mean, a thin layer of oil doesn't hurt. Any excess oil on top will fall to the bottom of the tray there and you can see it later. So it's quite nice. So that's pretty much my quick review of this roast wheel air fryer. I hope we help you in your purchase decision if you have any question let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you